Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue square A, B, C, D along with this uh, point E inside uh, this uh, square. And as a result, we get these uh, two triangles. The first uh, green triangle is uh, A, B, E and the other yellow triangle uh, is a right triangle uh, A, E, D. And moreover, this segment uh, A, E is uh, two units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ABE. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different uh, approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And I'm going to show you two different approaches, one with uh, trigonometry and the other without uh, trigonometry. And here's our very first step. Uh, let's focus on this uh, square A, B, C, D. Since this is a square, so all side lengths uh, are uh, equal uh, in uh, length. Let me label this side as uh, lowercase x, lowercase x, uh, x, uh, and x uh, across the board. And now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green uh, triangle uh, ABE, so therefore I have drawn this uh, perpendicular EF uh, on this uh, line AB as you can see. Now let me go ahead and label this uh, EF uh, as our height uh, lowercase uh, h. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And we can see the base uh, of this uh, green uh, triangle uh, is uh, x and the height uh, of this green triangle is uh, lowercase uh, h. So therefore the green triangle area is going to become uh, x times height h uh, divided by 2. Let me go ahead and label uh, this equation as our equation uh, number 1. And now our task is uh, to find the value of x uh, and h in order to calculate uh, this uh, green triangle area. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, uh, the sum of these two angles must be equal to 90 degrees. So therefore, let's assume that this angle is uh, alpha. Since this is a 90 degree angle, so therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta and since this is a 90 degree angle if this angle is beta so therefore this angle is uh, alpha and finally in this uh, right triangle AEF this angle is uh, alpha this angle is 90 degrees so therefore this angle is going to be our angle beta so therefore we conclude that this uh, right triangle uh, AEF uh, is uh, similar to this uh, other uh, right triangle uh, ADE according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words the ratio of uh, EF and uh, AE this is our EF and this segment is uh, AE is going to be equal to this uh, ratio AE and AD. AE is this segment uh, and AD is this uh, side length. And now we can see EF is our height uh, H, AE length uh, is uh, 2 units, likewise AE length is uh, 2 units and this uh, AD is uh, X. So therefore we can write uh, H divided by 2 equals to 2 divided by X. Now let me go ahead and multiply both sides by X. And here we can see x and x is gone. So therefore on the left hand side uh, x uh, times h uh, divided by 2 turns out to be equal to 2. And now we can see from this equation 1 uh, our green triangle area is represented by x times h uh, divided by 2. And here in this equation x times uh, h divided by 2 equals to 2. So therefore our green triangle area is going to be equal to 2 square units. So thus the area of this uh, green triangle turns out to be 2 square units by using the very first uh, method. And now I am going to show you the second uh, method by using the basic uh, trigonometry. And once again uh, all these uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, blue square are uh, x uh, across the board. 
and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, yellow triangle uh, ADE let's assume this angle uh, DAE is uh, our angle theta and now let's recall uh, so Cartois and we are interested uh, in calculating this uh, cosine of theta equals to adjacent divided by hypotenuse and in our case uh, this uh, side uh, is our adjacent and this side uh, is our hypotenuse so therefore our cosine theta equals to our adjacent side is 2 divided by hypotenuse is uh, x now let me go ahead and tweak the left hand side by just putting one uh, underneath and now we are going to flip uh, both sides uh, over so therefore we can write 1 divided by cosine of theta equals to x uh, divided by 2 and now let's multiply both uh, sides by 2 to isolate uh, x and now we can see 2 and 2 is gone so therefore our x value is going to be equal to 2 divided by cosine of theta so therefore our x value turns out to be 2 divided by cosine of theta and now let's focus on this uh, green triangle uh, ABE we know this angle is uh, theta this whole angle is 90 degrees so therefore uh, this uh, remaining angle has got to be 90 degrees minus uh, theta and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green triangle uh, ABE and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, A times B times sine of angle uh, C as you can see in this given uh, triangle these are our two side lengths uh, A and B and C is the angle in between therefore in this uh, triangle ABE these are our side lengths uh, X uh, and uh, 2 and the angle between them is 90 degrees uh, minus theta so therefore the area of this uh, green uh, triangle ABE is going to be equal to a half uh, times uh, side x times the other side is 2 times sine of uh, our angle is uh, 90 degrees minus uh, theta and now let's recall the co-function identity sine of 90 degrees minus theta is always equal to cosine of theta so therefore in our case uh, this sine of 90 degrees minus theta is going to be equal to cosine of theta as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced uh, this uh, sine of 90 degrees minus theta by cosine of theta over here and now we know that uh, 2 and 2 cancel each other out so therefore we ended up with uh, x uh, times uh, cosine of theta but we know our x value is 2 divided by cosine of theta that we figured out in our previous step so therefore I'm going to replace this x by 2 divided by cosine of theta over here so therefore we are going to substitute x value by 2 divided by cosine of theta times our this uh, cosine of theta over here and here we can see cosine of theta and cosine of theta they are gone so therefore the area of this uh, green triangle turns out to be two square units so therefore the area of this uh, green triangle turns out to be two square units by using this uh, second method uh, as well and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.